Hello, welcome to Dry Creek Beekeeping. So today, I kind of have a little bit of an experiment set up. This video was partially inspired by uh, the YouTube channel Clueless Beekeeping. They figured out a way to have their bees make something that they call nuclear honey. I thought it was really interesting and it gave me the idea to try to make some of that on my own to figure out how they spread the nectar through their hive and what they do with the nectar once they start making it into actual honey. All right, so I got two jars of sugar water here, this one and this one, and I have two different food colorings. There's a blue one and a red one. Both of these are uh, food safe dyes that are okay to be eaten because I don't really want my bees to get hurt. So my goal with these is to dye them different colors. One of them will go into the Delta Hive and the other one will go into the Gamma Hive just because those are the first year hives and I don't really want the honey to be colored in the hives that are actually gonna produce honey this year. I'm kind of thinking the one that I want in the Delta Hive to be blue. So I'm gonna start out with that one. Five drops of blue dye, let's see how that goes. As dark of a blue as that is, I don't think it's dark enough for what I'm planning. So, five more drops. Oh yeah, that's much better. So for now, I'm just gonna put the lid on it and do the same thing for the red. Man, that red is not nearly as dark as the blue. <laughs> Hopefully it'll still work. All right, opening up the Delta Hive here to put the blue in. There's the old feeder. I can tell they've drinking some from it. Not very much though. That's fine. So pretty much just gonna replace this with the blue. All right, there we go. Now the blue's in there, so it's time to move on over to the Gamma Hive. All right, and just like that, both feeders are set up. Hopefully when we come back here in a week, they will have some uh, nectar stores that are colored differently. If not, then I don't know. It, it's definitely an experiment. I don't really know how it's gonna turn out. All right, so it's been a week since I've put the colored sugar water into this hive. This is the Delta Hive. That's the one that I'm gonna be starting out with. And I really wanna to check to see if they've been taking sugar water from that feeder and what they've been doing with it. So, oh wow. They have drained this thing. Yeah, look at that. The feeder is completely and totally empty. That's insane. All right, so let's see if there is some blue sugar water in this hive. Or even better, blue honey. That would be pretty cool. And by the way, I looked this up. It is totally safe for the bees to have a food safe dye in their hive. So, this shouldn't affect them at all. Well, they got good brood, but I don't see any nectar yet. Oh, there we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. That right there, that is some blue nectar. Holy cow. That is very, very cool. They are also very, very mad right now. They don't want me intruding on their hive. This all just seems to be very normal nectar. I don't see any blue in these frames, but there is a lot of nectar. So 
clearly they're storing the different types of nectar in different places. So that's very interesting. Like here, that's blue. But in other places, it's not. It looks like this hive is up to six frames of strong uh, comb, brood, nectar, pollen, all that stuff. So once they fill out two more frames, then I'll put a new box on this hive. And now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the Gamma Hive. All right, now the Gamma Hive here. And it looks like they've drank most of the sugar water. Not all of it. There's a little bit of red right down here. So that's fine. I'll probably still replace that. And let's see what we got inside the hive. Already, I can see some like little spots of red nectar in there. Taking a look at the inside of the hive here. It looks like very, very good frames of brood and some red nectar scattered throughout the hive. Not much of it, but I'm going to continue to take a look at the outer frames and see if we got any more. That is a very strong frame of brood. Holy cow. That's good to see. And yeah, there we go. Right up in this corner here. Very, very red nectar. That is so cool to me, seeing where they put the uh, nectar that I feed them in comparison to where the normal nectar is. And over here, they've actually started to cap some of that red nectar. But on this side, they have nectar that isn't red. And this hive also has uh, six frames of good brood stores and pollen. So, I would guess in probably a couple of weeks here, they're going to need a second box. These hives today are very, very angry. I think it's because of the low pressure system moving in, but hopefully this is, they aren't just naturally like this, because that would be quite annoying to have an angry hive. Alright, so to recap what I did in this video, uh, last week, I put some colored sugar water into my hives as an experiment to see where they take uh, the sugar water that I feed them versus the sugar water that they get from in nature. And what I've learned from that is that the nectar that I feed them, they put in the inner frames near the brood, whereas the nectar that they forage, they put on the outer frames that don't have any brood. So that is very interesting. And it's probably just a matter of convenience since that um, sugar water that I give them is set up right above the frames of brood, right in the center of the hive. So they probably don't hold on to that for that long and just kind of take it directly to a nearby frame that doesn't have anything and deposit it there. Whereas the forage stuff, they kind of have the ability to take it to other places in the hive. Other than that, the Delta and Gamma hives are doing extremely well. They have very strong brood, very strong frames, and I'm guessing in the next couple of weeks I'll have to put a new hive box on them. So yeah, those hives are doing a lot better than the older hives that I have, um, the Alpha and Beta hives, which is a bit ironic since they are just brand new hives. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And if you did enjoy, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.